Welcome to my first Boca Bulletin. I'm going to be trying to issue one of these every single day during my visit to Boca Chica, and I'm starting off now before my flight departs because there's a lot happening already. SpaceX crews have been working 24 hours a day to install everything that's going to be necessary for the upcoming static fire and orbital launch attempt. The most important piece of equipment, in my opinion, that they're installing right now is the water noise suppression system. This is something that they've had in place at Boca Chica for some time. Some of you may have observed a sound suppression system in operation, but those have been far less ambitious than the one SpaceX uses at Cape Canaveral, only really sufficient for small-scale static fires, not for 33-engine static fires, which is why SpaceX had to deliver a new system to Boca Chica recently. Once this system is in place, and once the boot booster is ready to go, the first static fire of the most powerful rocket in human history should happen sometime later this week. It is a very exciting moment to say the least, and I can't wait to bring the details to you. That having been said though, there's one thing that still concerns me and other observers around the globe. Why doesn't SpaceX have a flame trench at Boca Chica? They have them at Cape Canaveral for Falcon Heavy launches, hell, even Falcon 9s. So why aren't they doing it at Boca Chica? Well, for one thing, it's very expensive. But is that enough of a reason? I really am not terribly certain about that. The reason NASA has always used a combination of sound suppression systems and flame trenches at Cape Canaveral is because they are trying to avoid sound reverberations from the launch pad damaging the vehicle before it manages to ascend. That was a problem they experienced with the shuttle in the early days of the program. And by the way, the shuttle has less than half the thrust of Starship. And on top of that, they're also trying to divert the heat and pressure away the, from the vehicle because that can create damage as well. The flame trench at Launch Complex 39B, for example, which was used during the space shuttle program, was 150 50 meters long, 18 meters wide, and 13 meters deep. The main flame deflector was situated inside the trench directly underneath the rocket boosters of an orbital launch vehicle on the launch pad. It was approximately 11.6 meters high, 17.5 meters wide, and 22 meters long. A typical good deflector has a concave shape to angle and deflect the hot exhaust gases blowing down to the trench where they run horizontally before exiting the trench at a safe distance from the launch pad and the rocket. Now, the orbiter's exhaust gases were deflected through the southern part of the flame trench, and the solid rocket booster's exhaust gases were deflected through the northern section of the flame trench, so the space shuttle was a little bit different. It had an inverted V shape with the deflector, with both sh sides concave shaped, as both sides of the deflector were used for a shuttle launch. However, since the advent of SLS, since the solid rocket boosters and the RS-25 engines are located in line and don't have to be deflected in two different directions, that configuration has been abandoned. Now, the flame trench is made from concrete and covered with refractory, heat-resistant bricks, while the flame deflector consists of a strong steel structure covered with a 127 millimeter or 5-inch layer of high-temperature concrete-like material known as fondue fire. Remember how these previous static fires have resulted in a fair amount of concrete debris. That's why they build these flame trenches using this type of material. Now, SpaceX is implementing this type of material to be used on their launch pads at Boca Chica as well, but I'm not sure if it's that thick, and it's also not deep inside a flame trench. In my opinion, this static fire is going to be the acid test to determine whether or not this configuration is going to be viable, or whether or not SpaceX is going to have to use a flame trench in order to launch the Starship safely. If that is indeed the case, they'll either have to dig a flame trench in Boca Chica or move the whole doggone thing out to Cape Canaveral. Please like, please subscribe, and as always, stay angry about space.